Welcome back. I missed you so much. And now you're still here. This is fantastic. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express. So now, Gammon. We have to talk about Gammon. And I know it's very festive, but it is synonymous with Christmas. You know this. And enjoy it in many households, you know, all over the world, in fact. Now, through the years, the Gammon offerings has left us spoiled for choice. And here to tell us a bit more about their Gammons and the steps to ensure we get exceptional Woolies quality is Woolworths' senior meat product developer, Treiki van Royen, alongside Chef Clem, the Avengers of Gammon that we've brought together for you today. But welcome, Treiki. Thank you. It's so nice to have you in the kitchen. Oh, it's nice to be here. Chef Clem, I mean, I know, I know, I know. The legend is here. I can, can you believe it? Right. Okay, how do I, how do I apply for your, for your, to be your assistant, to be a meat, a meat professional assistant? <laughs> <laughs> you qualify. Oh, oh yes, there we go. Oh, Amazing. <laughs> So I think the, the first thing is that I, I know for a fact, and I'll tell you straight up, my gammon came from Woolworths. It's simple. But I'm sure there are certain steps that, you know, just to ensure that we get the best possible quality meat. And you know about these steps as the senior meat product developer at Woolworths. So please tell us about those steps you take. I first want to say that a Christmas without a gammon is like a table with only three legs. Oh. You miss that authentic, uh, traditional South African, South African component on yes. the table. But for us to be able to produce a good quality product, yeah. um, you have to work with good quality raw material. Very true. So I want to take it back to the farms. We only use um, audited, um, approved farmers where yeah. we get our raw material from. And they farm according to our kind to sow uh, policies. And we also only use certain breeds um, okay. for our products. It's, it's delicious, honestly, and I can say that this is why I pick this every single time. But um, naturally, there are certain differences, you know, in a Woolies gammon, you know, over, let's just say, the others out there. What are those differences? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. There's lots of differences. So we've done a lot of upgrade work this past year on our gammons. Okay. Uh, we work with industry experts um, with minimum ingredients, um, and what I mean was is the brine. So a gammon. The brine basically makes a gammon, otherwise it's yes. just a piece of a pork roast. So minimum ingredients, but functional ingredients that ensure a consistent succulent product. Um, the other major difference is also the cuts that we use. Yeah. We use three selected cuts out of the leg. Um, this is the whole leg, so that leg gets split up in three different cuts. Okay. We only use um, <clears throat> silver side, knuckle and the rump. Oh, yes. Not the knuckles, sorry, apologies. No problem. The thick flank yes. and the rump. Um, neatly trim and each cut needs to be covered with a certain percentage of fat. Because um. if you look at this gammon, um, the fat is part of that beautiful component. Oh, yes, it is. And oh, the natural yes, basting of the fat during the cooking process also ensure a succulent yeah. eat. I, I can tell. This is why I do cardio. It's because of that reason over there. That's amazing. But... It's not just about a gammon. No gammon is the same. There are offerings that Woolworths has. I mean, you can get an uncooked gammon, but then also the sliced ready to eat for those. Because I'll be honest, I did get one of those this year. Because <laughs> I just wanted to, to have something quick on the table that I could pour some sauce over. Same. So take us to take you some of the offerings that you have, you know, in terms of the varieties of gammon at Woolworths. We've got a very nice choice for everyone. Okay, let's swap over. So those of you yes. that like the convenience of just heating it yeah. or serving it cold, there's a lovely range of fully cooked products that's ready to eat. Um, I love those. The Big Boy. Yes. Also a whole The egg. Big Boy, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then a fully cooked and slice um, as well as another slice product. That's the one I got. <laughs> and then for the foodies, the scratch cook, they yes. like to cook and, and to prepare that gammon from the beginning. Um, we've got the best ever, beautiful, um, another big boy, bone in. Um, and the bone wow. during the cooking definitely yes. um, assists with the flavour of the product. And then we've got our um, large and medium gammons, boneless, yes. easy to carve. And you can see beautiful golden brown colour. Um, and what I forgot to say earlier yeah. is that the, the other main difference is we naturally would smoke our products with beechwood. And then for the bigger groups for Christmas, where you've got a big family gathering, we've got the hampers, a smaller one 
for a smaller Christmas. Love those. Two pork roasts. Yes. And then our two classic hampers, the classic and the festive one. Um, and the choice is a gammon, a corned beef and a corned tongue. Wow. And the other one, the festive, is a gammon, a corned beef and a beautiful smoked pork belly. You got us sorted, actually, this Christmas. It's amazing. I'm going to let you swap over to Chef Clem over here, Trakey, because... The thing about the big boy mm. is that, you know, you've got a good family. However, everybody is tucking into all the meats and now we got leftovers. So Chef Clem, while you and I have been having a conversation, Traiki, has been preparing an idea to make sure that gammon does not get left over. It doesn't just get, you know, set aside. I mean, we love Boxing Day. We love boxing it up and giving it to those who, who are less fortunate. But at the same time, we also mm -hmm. love going away with family on Boxing Day and having some of the food that we, you know, we, we paid for and cooked so many hours, you know, for. I feel like that's important to make the most of. And then what turn, are you doing? To turn to something pretty epic. So exactly to your point, the leftover gammon, what do you do with it? Yeah. So what I've done is I've taken it and I've chopped it up and we're going to actually put it inside a croquette. Okay? It's super simple. So I've made a white sauce, which is butter, it's the flour that's gone in here, it's the milk, then I've added some whole grain mustard, salt and pepper. Yes. Here we go, I do have salt and pepper. Da -da 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 -da. Use the thing. Get this out the pan now and let it sit. And it sits, it sits like... So it's like a... Like this. You see, you want it to be thick and gloopy. You pop it in the fridge, so it gets cold, and then it gets gloopy like really? this. Really? So it's like it's almost like a, a sort of a more solidified bechamel, like that sort of exactly thing. Exactly right? what it is. And if you wanted to add some cheese to it, you could add. Mm -hmm. I think I think I'd, I'd probably add cheese. A nice like a, a emmentaler would be delicious with it. That nutty flavour to go with the sweetness of the pork would be so good. Yes. So then you take your your gammon, your chopped up gammon, and you mix the two. Make sure that your gammon's cold when you do this as well. Okay, then you're gonna basically have a gammon infused white sauce. Are you with me? You got this. when you say with you, I'm I'm having problems here. Okay, I'm, because I mean I was I was having a good morning, thinking like I'm probably gonna not eat too much, you know, not, get no, ready for the rest of my day. Me, but now you just you're making me want to eat now. You're gonna eat now. Just check this out. White sauce mixed with the gammon, rolled into little balls. You can do big ones. You I can hope we can ones. taste. Excuse me. I hope we can taste. Yeah, Trinky and I would like to taste. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> taste. Trinky's product that you're working uh, with. Eh? You, I want you to taste. So <laughs> get the you get your balls. Yeah. Keep everything chilled. Okay. If you're working with your with your fridge. Don't let anything get too hot, cause you you want things to stay together. That's the only correct, way that's yeah. gonna happen if it stays chilled. So then we're gonna go into our flour first, okay? And then we're gonna go into our egg. Egg wash. Egg wash. And then into our panko crumbs. When you get into the egg wash, give it a few like roly polies. Make sure that the egg does actually. Yep, roly roly polies. That's where you get taught in chef school. Give it a few roly polies. Po I thought yeah. they taught it uh, bolomakisis. Oh uh, no, that, that that's 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 when you do your masters. Oh, that master. Okay, yeah. I thought so. I thought into so. the panko. And now at this point, you can freeze these, and you really? can have them for Easter. What? It can live in the freezer. It's perfectly fine, frozen oh. like this. Then you take it that and you pop it. Genius. Into some oil and you deep fry them. Can you air fry it? Yes. I prefer deep frying it. You get a, a small solid crust and the inside is going to turn to liquid. Mm -hmm. So it's going to become great. like, like, it's going to become like gammony, cheesy <laughs> sauce in the inside, crusted. So they're perfectly delicious, like on their own. I give it a little bit of like a mayo mustard to go with it for a little donkey dip. Yes. But also if you are going to be like picnicking or going on the road, they're super small. In the container, you can eat them chilled. It go. tastes so good. Oh, We're gonna break one open for us, Carl. Like we gotta see what's happening. Now. Okay. Oh God. Thank you. Just jumped it <laughs> ahead of me there. No, you break it open. Let's see. So you see. Oh that was man. Sauce, just Thank like you, those super runny. Get, and the mustard absolutely makes it May as I well. Make, please. I'm asking for a friend. Please do. You might. And this is a great way to use, okay. use up your gammon because I thought about it. If a guest is still coming like on the 27th, the 28th, the 29th, or pre, pre New Year's, if you've got all of these made as your guests come in, imagine. Imagine. Oh my word. Little, little beautiful little croquette, little glass of water. Glass of, water, a glass of bubbly. Sparkling water. Can, uh, sparkling water, definitely. But can I just say <laughs> that Trek is the, the quality we're talking about. Yeah. Even after it's been croqueted, so to speak, that flavor still comes through. That brine you were talking about still comes through. You can still taste all of those beautiful um, inputs into what a Woolworths gammon is, even if it's deep fried. And how is that even possible? It's, it's quality. That's what it is. That's, That's how we do it. That was quality. I love that. Before I get my mouth full, find this easy recipe on a very special website that I know you love, all right? It's also Taste Magazine. 
has this recipe for you. And I love the Taste Magazine. That's more of a, the physical website. But we also got some great news. Willie's has extended their Gammons and Hampers deal, which means W Rewards members, you can get 25% off any two Gammons or festive Hampers, uh, while all customers get 20% off because we love you. This offer is available to Woolworths, of course, and at Woolworths until the 25th of December. That is Christmas 2023. Enjoy. And maybe it's not Gammon. Maybe it's just game on this festive season.